It has all the makings of tennis, but with the added elements of racquetball. Put it together, and what you have is the sport of paddle. I'm a big fan of tennis, but the difficulty of tennis, the level of play, it just has to be pretty high in order to enjoy a rally. Whereas this sport, it's a shorter racket. That racket's 18 inches long, so anything closer into your hand, it's easier to control the ball. It's for people, it's more social. You don't have to go as far to pick up the ball. This doubles only sport is played on a court about half the size of a regulation tennis court. A court surrounded by four glass walls, which are an essential element of the game. One of the things that's unique about paddles, we can actually ricochet it off of the back wall, so it's like tennis with a rebound. Or, let's say the ball gets past me, then I can actually take it off the wall with one bounce and play it again, so it's rebound tennis in that aspect as well. Mike May is the president of the USA Paddle Association and has played in every world championship since 1994. He's also the head pro at the Houstonian Club, which in 93 became home to the first paddle courts in the USA. I like the fact that it's actually given me birth after tennis. I did tennis for many years, played on the tour, got a world ranking, but I was able to transfer my dream to a different sport and it was easier on my body. While May is an elite player, the beauty of paddle is just how quickly players of all levels can be competitive at this sport. I like the competitiveness of it. Uh, I used to play a lot of racquetball and this was a, a easy conversion and uh, and also uh, the social aspects. It's a lot of fun to play. The fact the points are longer, you get crazy shots where you're running out the door to return it back into play. Tennis has gotten to be such a powerful game where it's serve and return and it's just not as interesting unfortunately to me as something like this where if someone can smash an overhead at you and you're chasing it down to come off of a wall and you rebound it's back in play. So it's just like a more creative version of tennis. A version of tennis which is skyrocketing in popularity across the globe. It's overtaken tennis in Spain, and, and tennis in Spain right now, they're the leaders, they was Nadal, and actually Nadal was even quoted that he plays a couple hours of paddle a day when he's at home, uh, but it's now second behind soccer. In Argentina, there's millions of players. Players who are certainly getting into the swing of the sport of paddle.